and welcome to Southern Maryland Week in Review Edition, a partnership between the Southern Maryland News and the Forest Carrera Technology Center's TV video production program. I'm Jada. And I'm Nolan. And here's what we have for you on this week's SMD Wire. Maryland is revisiting the history of Harriet Tubman following Republican Governor Larry Hogan's decision to dedicate 2022 to the renewed Underground Railroad abductor, which many scholars say is an opportunity to inspire young people. According to a national poll conducted by Quinnipiac University in February, 27% of U.S. adults reported learning a full and accurate amount of the role of African Americans in the United States in school compared with 66% who said their techniques fell short when it comes to African American students. In 2021, there were 100,000 fatal drug overdoses in the United States, with over 76,975 of those deaths, including a tribute to opioids. Opioids and fentanyl-related deaths have been growing nationwide in recent years. Maryland saw an increase in opioid and fentanyl-related deaths in 2021. Opioid-related deaths increased over 2%, and fentanyl-related deaths increased by 3%. According to the Maryland Department of Health, there are 30 opioid-related deaths in the St. Mary's County, 22 in Charles County, and 12 in Calvert County. A retired U.S. Army major has chosen to run for a seat on the Charles County Board of Education in his first attempt at elected office. Calvin Eugene Montgomery Sr., 63, of Hughesville, filed on February 16th to run for one or two District 1 seats in the July 19th primary. Montgomery, who voted, volunteered as a wrestling coach in the county, told Southern Maryland News he decided to join the race to be a champion for the students, parents, and teachers of the county. The Calvert County Commissioner's proposed FISCAL for the 2023 operating budget totals more than $335 million. That is isn't accounted for is that budget is $6.6 .6 million the Commissioner's voted to give the Calvert Public Schools. The budget as presented keeps the county's property tax rate at $0.93 cents per 100 of assessed value. Property tax is currently the highest rent of use source, with the income tax remaining at 3%. Operating budget highlights include adding eight employees for the career emergency medical services. County government employees will receive a pay step increase and a 4% cost off living adjustment. Now turning to sports. Calvert softball upturns Northern High School last Tuesday. Although losing the regular season game to Northern, Calvert got revenge at the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference game. While Northern had home field advantage, Calvert upset them 3-2 winning smack and advancing to the state playoffs. St. Mary's College women's lacrosse wins UEC title after winning all six of its United East Conference League contests by the combined score of 130-7. to The St. Mary's College of Maryland women's lacrosse team's successful championship bid was viewed by a far-gone conclusion well, well prior to last weekend's tournament. Within a 24-hour span amid conditions and were hardly ideal, the Seahawks easily lived up to the advance billing. That's all we have for you on this week's edition of SOMD Wire. This news brief has been provided by the Southern Maryland News. For more details, visit SOMDnews.com. I'm Nolan. And I'm Jada. Signing off.